Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Plan for the Great Wars Italy. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we're still trying to push our way into Russia. Nobody is still really close to capitulating. I mean, France is somewhat there. Serbia is about halfway, but we still need to take over uh, Belgrade. But I don't think that's... Or I guess Nice, I should say. Until they actually capitulate. How many men do they have? They right now are at 7 line divisions. They're not providing a huge amount of men. It's really everybody else that's very annoying. Especially the, the French and the British. Uh, we still got our beautiful, beautiful trench system here. I wish the Austrians were just, like, not in our territory. Because I, f I don't think I need them over here. There are almost 40 divisions to uh, maintain this front line. And, of course, we still have this massive situation down here in uh, Egypt as well, which we're really uh, having troubles with. So we're looking at about 622 divisions for our side. They right now are fielding about probably like 750, so they got about 100 more divisions on the field than we do, which is definitely a problem, especially when the United States eventually enters the war. I'm hoping that Russia is not going to last for too long. But of course, you know, who am I to be able to say that that is uh, not going to happen? So let's try to move our troops over here. Secure this front line as much as humanly possible. And just push our way this way. We can try maybe do some like naval invasions, but I don't really think we have the naval capacity to actually do so. We did lose a major naval battle the, uh, I think a few weeks ago now in game. Was it the last episode or was the episode before that? I'm not too sure. We did lose like 20 ships, which is not great. And I'm pretty sure at this point, really nobody else is going to be joining the war. The only person that might would be Mexico, but I really don't think they're really in a position to do much. Um, I mean, there's like 50 divisions, but the United States has almost 200 themselves. So, no matter what, we're going to be in a very awkward situation. The French still have, like, no manpower. They have gone up to limited conscription now, but Germany has, like, 5.3 like million, which is quite a bit. But, of course, Russia... Russia's Russia. It's massive. It has a lot of soldiers. Like, about, you know, 2.5 million manpower. More than what we could actually muster ourselves. But I'm looking at these numbers, and I think I'm actually going to once again shift Red Army all the way up to the German front. Because I think that'll just be better for us. And it seems a little bit weaker as well, so if we can push our way to Petrograd, I think that will not make them capitulate right away. But hopefully, you know, somewhat soon. We are trying to get our, our um, tanks up. Uh, where, how long until they're done researching? We still got about 193 days so we can start even producing heavy tanks. I'm hoping heavy tanks might be able to give us enough push to maybe, uh, break through. Again, I can't tell the AI not to be on my front line. I really wish I could because I, I don't need you here. If you were down here, that would be better. If you're over in Russia, that would be better. Anywhere else would be better, Austria, than being on the French border. Which more or less does nothing for anybody involved. They're going to take a port from us. Which kind of sucks. We at least still have Alexandria. But that isn't really saying too, too much. If anything, maybe I just want to get my troops out of here. How many men... How many, how many ships are in this region? About... Not a ton... And I think we might be able to shift them to go to Beirut. So I think we're going to do Operation Abandon Africa. Because I, I don't think there's much... There's not going to be much hope here at all, I think. The Entente can have Africa. Uh, you know, 26 or 24 divisions could definitely be put better anywhere else. Uh, where would I actually want them, though? We can either put them up here on the Russian front, which actually looks very, very undefended. Already push them over here near Constantinople, but I don't think that actually is going to benefit us too much. So I'll wait for our guys to get over there. Um, I think we just have to completely abandon the front right now. So goodbye, uh, Africa. 
It was nice knowing you, but yeah, no, there's really no foothold we can have on this continent any anymore. Maybe down here in Namibia, but I don't think so. And again, there's not really any resources in Africa itself that actually makes anything here worth fighting over. Yeah, Hedgehogs capitulated. Not a huge surprise. I mean, I'm hoping we don't just like lose the war and makes me uh, regret ever joining up with the ally or with joining up with the central powers to begin with. But if I can put men on this front, like this front over here in um, Beyond Empire, it just looks extremely weak, doesn't it? So I think that's why you want to be there. If we can actually also trap and kill these uh, handful of Russian troops, I think that would actually make a big difference as well. So right, you still don't feel confident because people are not actually in position quite yet, but they will be soon. So I want to worry about it too much. Uh, we do. They have a port here. Like getting up to Rigo, I think would be nice, but it's a bit hard to say. And as soon as everybody has landed, because if they don't, if they, if I tell them to move first, they'll probably go to like this port and make things just more difficult for me. Yes, yeah, just get your way far up north. We can abandon Beirut for now. I don't think I want to be sending troops to really defend it. These Ottoman troops down here are just kind of completely dead. Um, and that's that. You guys go back up to Italy. I hope, hopefully you don't get sunk, but you know, you never know. I mean, we can push our way into, the, uh, into Russia, or we can try to push back the British that are over here as well. Push them back out of uh, Iraq. I don't think Persia is going to get involved. I'm trying to remember exactly what Persia did in World War I. But I can't quite remember. So do, well, how about the Germans to the far north? These Russian troops are definitely dead, which is excellent. But I think we need to at least push our way up to the Caucasus. And at least, you know, once we're up here, maybe we can get something else going. But also, it would be nice to make sure the British didn't just completely destroy the Ottoman Empire. Like, how many troops the Ottomans have? They only have, like, 40 divisions, right? 48? Not really enough to uh, sustain much. And are you guys part of the Entente? Yes. They didn't save the Belgrade Pact. We're missing 20,000 rifles. And that's all for reinforcements as well. We're not actually training anybody up that needs rifles right now. Which is kind of an issue. And I think Orange, I think you just need to attack. You know, something like that. If we can push away to Baku, that'll actually, you know, get rid of a lot of Russian uh, oil. And if we have troops down here in the Caucasus, that should at least mean that there's going to be less guys on the Eastern Front. And overall, that's probably better for us. There's still so many guys down here. Ottomans, I understand that it's a tricky situation for you to be in. We really can't push in France, though. Germany at least has pushed the, the French out of Germany again. So that's okay for Ger for the Germans. Um, we're probably taking a lot of casualties. And they're navally invading Corsica. You know what? That's fine. Kind of. Not really. But I don't think they can actually invade um, Italy itself. And I guess that's okay. Uh, we're going to be losing out on one civilian factory, but I don't really think that's really going to make or break the war. So I'm not too concerned about that. But the Ottomans are sending way too many troops trying to uh, kill the six stack. So you know what? I'm going to send one over and hopefully break through. Yeah, no, keep on pushing through like this. I know it's, it's the mountains. It's going to take a while for us to actually smash through their defenses, but I think it's going to be okay. 
Let's get our tank guy up now. You know, before we actually start building anybody. I mean, you have, like, no organization, so I don't think you should be that hard to kill. At least that's my hope. Yeah, there we go. All of them are just dead. The Ottomans will now at least be able to send their troops to be more effective literally anywhere else. And you go up and around like that. We can at least trap one of these troops. I want you to go straight to Baku. I want this oil. Because if we can secure that oil, that's gonna, again, it just means that Russia doesn't have it. And if Russia doesn't have it, the Allies don't have it. And that seems pretty good to me. So, casualty rates right now are 3.4 million against 2.1. You know, things have not been going well. I will admit. I want to really focus just on this... Uh, upper territories up here. Not attacking to the 6 stack. That just seems dumb. Attacking to these stacks of like 1 or the stacks of 3 or 4 but are actually like really wounded. Those seem like better targets for you. But again, what do I know? Yeah, like these two areas over here are a little bit too well defended but these guys should break. Ottomans, please send troops down here to deal with the British. I'll deal with the Russians. You don't even have to worry about it. Do I actually already own the oil? No. I think until we take Baku, the Russians are still in control of the oil fields. And there's nobody in Baku. Okay. We can have you go up and around like that. This one troop's basically dead. He won't be able to get reinforcements. Especially as soon as we take Baku, he won't be able to supply at all. Oh, but now they trap me. The most devilish plans. Okay, well, you just hang out in Baku then. Because that, again, should mean the Ottomans are in control of the area. Yes, which means that the Russians are not in control of that oil. They have kind of unified their front down there, which is incredibly dangerous. Do you guys feel confident with attacking? If you feel confident, I don't agree with you. But we'll see, you know, you will see what you can actually get done. I'll focus down here in the bot in the uh, the coxes for now. Okay, you see all these empty territories, guys? Please walk into them. Especially take this port as well. It's going to take you a while, I think, to actually march through, which makes sense. Uh, they are the mountains. And we can actually finally get our extra research slot. No, not until 1916. So we've got about a few months on that. So I guess we go for a military factory? Or an extra doctrine research. You know what? Let's go for the doctrine research. Okay, you march up here. Keep on marching this way. Just up, up, up. Further and further up north. We're at 92 on you. So you should be dead, I would imagine. As long as we got this guy securing the oil fields, things are going okay. You're going to be multiple combats, but it's going to get another two Russian troops stuck. Don't hit the microphone, please. But if the Ottoman, or if the British push their way up far north, our troops are just going to be completely stuck and helpless. Which surprisingly is not great for us. Early light machine guns. What we need is just something to break through. The fence and soft attack like isn't that useful we need yeah we need these breakthrough techs and also to get better rifles so that's gonna take a year defense i think we just need breakthrough but that's 480 days that's so expensive um but artillery is still also very expensive we're getting our next level of doctrine still do one of you guys provide breakthrough
Better tactics. Your entrenchments give you better attacks against forts. But that's 500 days for 1918 tech. It's a while. So let's go for... I guess just infantry uh, level 2. Even though it's going to take an entire year of research, I still think it's probably our best option. And once we hit until 1916 anyways, we will have um, another level of... Another research slot. Yes, kill these two troops, please. The Germans have begun a Zeppelin campaign over Britain. I don't think that's really going to make any difference whatsoever in the war effort, but... You know, we'll see. We still own Baku, though, so that is something. And I would say so far, our campaign of the Caucasus have been going okay. You know, it could always be better, but again, it could always be substantially worse. And as soon as we're done being attacked here, please... Advance northwards. Everything else I don't think really matters right now. I mean, if we can get our way to Vilnius, that would be nice. I don't think that's Vilnius at all, but... If we can push our way to, like, these major urban centers... That seems like a good thing to me. One of you guys can keep on marching further and further just towards Petrograd. As long as we can hold the French line on the Western Front. And then, but capitulate the Russians. Then we should be having, you know, some pretty decent success, I would say. Another two troops here are stuck. Everybody here is on this front, except for you guys who's going to keep on attacking in. You're going to move here. You're going to move there. The guy in Baku is a little bit stuck, but at least he's in a city, so he should still have supplies all right. So he's not going to be in the worst shape of his entire life. And Orange is still doing okay. The Ottomans don't have their entire front line um, covered, which is a problem. I can't tell if we're doing all right in um, the Balkans. Again, I think just like any province of uh, any province we can actually push through is important. Especially since we're not going to be like to navally invade anything. France did take over some of our important islands, which is not great. Are we ever going to get this naval invasion to work? I don't think so. So you just guard Italy for the moment, because I'm, I'm sure there's probably somewhere important for you to be. And you're just our, you're not our bad infantry, but you're like our throwaway troops. So I'm going to build a handful more of you, just get you uh, ready to go. How can you defend in Baku, though? You're at 100 defense. You are surrounded, which is a negative 30% penalty, but... Nighttime terrain. We're actually able to hold off pretty all right, I would say. I think you should go there. This guy is definitely going to die, so that's pretty good. I mean, if we get our way to Svestopol, that'd be nice. Um, Petrograd would be nice to take as well. And we're pushing our way into Vilnius. Or Vilnia. And you go straight up to Riga. You push here and then go around like that. Some of our guys are getting pretty, pretty weak, which is not great. But hopefully they'll be able to uh, last all right. Actually, if I go here, that'll actually get these two guys to be completely surrounded. Or do you actually go there? That's going to be a slightly safer option for us. I think they're actually running out of supplies here, which is not great. Uh, the Ottomans did get another, like, four troops stuck, which is just beautiful. Uh, great work there, guys. For 84... 
in that attack. 92. We're like, we're losing so many men. And we're not really doing that well against the, uh, the Entente. We've almost pushed our way through this province. We're at 99, and we have like 14 divisions moving into Multiplier. If we can do that, that should actually allow some sort of breakthrough to occur. Hopefully. And we did, we did push through, so we'll see what uh, we can do with this. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. If you want to, uh, my brain is melted. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.